the David Robinsons and the young guys, the D Browns and the Kendall Gills have got to to make their way into this league in terms of being stars. Here's Kenny Smith with his first of two dunks in the first round. I think he's going to bounce between his legs off the glass and dunk it. Behind his head. A runner up left two. Not bad for an opener. Now, you know, if you look at this competition, you have a lot of small players. You only have really one legitimate big guy. That's Sean Kemp. And you know what I think that leads to? A lot of bounce dunks, a lot of passes off the backboard, a lot of creative things as we see Kenny Smith here. So I think you're going to see a lot of tricks tonight, UB. Not just the power, but you see here's the between the legs, off the glass, 180 over the head. So Kenny Smith off to a good start. Now that, that's an original. Uh, you have the creativity there. But like you said early, you do not want to be penalized with a low score early. Let's hope that, you know, the the, the uh, judges okay. appreciate what he just accomplished. Kenny Smith, Kenny Smith waiting for his score. The crowd waiting. 48.5 is his round. Gill and Edwards are tied. One of the top four are Kenny Smith, D. Brown, Sean Kemp, and Rex Chapman. Now, these scores do get added together for this round. Second dunk, first round, Kenny Smith. See, I don't know how these guys go over and sit on the bench and not keep them getting stiff and then have to come out here and dunk. I guess that's you. Kenny Smith with a power dunk, a reverse behind the head jam way above the rim. I, I don't think he's going to get high numbers on that. I, I see that to be in the 44 maybe range, maybe 45 max. He's got to hope that that first dunk carried him. Well, remember now, you see, th this happens so quickly. You see, he brings it down through the, in the legs and then up over the top. But the judges have been very difficult, low scoring on this type of a dunk. Right. 42.3, you're right, not a high score after a 48.5 to start, now a 42.3 to give him a 90. Last year, you know, once he advanced to the semifinals and that, he did a lot of lobbing and catching the ball, one-handed, two-handed, 360s in the air. Another lob. Oh, oh, oh yes. A full on 360 now. on the catch and jam. Yes, That'll indeed. have to get big numbers. He gets his steps together. You see him right now timing it up. He gets a ball at the height, takes it right to the basket. Beautiful dunk. Concentration. Look at him. The eyes focus right on the basketball. Judges now completed their tabulations. Kenny Smith gets a 46 6. Oh, a little disappointing. Yes. Tough judges over there. That was a full spin in the air on the catch. Kenny Smith needs the about a 49 on this dunk because he's looking at guys who's got 48 3, 49 6 ahead of him. So he needs to throw up about a 49 here. The double clutch jam, but I'll bet it does not get enough. All the way down to his knees and back. For the reverse for Kenny Smith. He finished second to Dominique Wilkins last year. A 41.3, a very low score.